adding strobes to your Mavic 3, that coming up right after this. So you just got your new Mavic 3 and you need to add strobes on it because you want to fly at night. Here in the US at least, you need to have a strobe on your drone that you can be that can be seen for at least three statute miles, according to the FAA. Uh, I'll leave links down in the description where you can read that information for yourself. Uh, but there are a few strobe lights that I'm gonna talk about today, several that I recommend, several that I don't recommend, um, some that I recommend here for, uh, for pilots in the US, and some that are, I recommend for pilots overseas, just because the, uh, some of them are a little hard to get overseas, but are readily available here in the US. So a little bit more about the mounting options, specifically for the Mavic 3. As I mentioned before, we have strobe mounts for all the popular drones. Uh, as of right now, we are just offering back arms and front arm mounts uh, for all the popular strobe types we're talking about today. And uh, we will eventually be offering a probably a front foot mount. Uh, we've done that with all the pr previous ones. Um, and then uh, possibly a bottom mount that clips right here. That is in the works as well. So keep an eye out for those. But again, for now, just the back mounts and the front arm mounts will be available. We'll start off with my favorite strobe. Now the first three strobes we're going to talk about are my favorite here for the U.S. and um, the reason why I say that is uh, it's from Firehouse Technology. They are in my opinion they're the leader in, in strobe lights for drones. Um, they're just hard to get when you're outside of the U.S. or Canada. The first three that I'm going to talk about are strictly here. Actually, we'll talk about four of their strobes today. Uh, the first uh, one I'm going to talk about is, in my opinion, the brightest. Uh, that is the Firehouse Technology Arc 5. It is uh, 25 millimeters by 38.4 millimeters by 13 millimeters thick, and it weighs 12.74 grams. This one, in my opinion, is the brightest of all of the ones that we're going to be looking at today. Uh, I'll go ahead and power one on for you. Firehouse does have it in several different colors. Uh, they have it in red, uh, green, white. Um, I believe they also have police colors as well, um, as well as an infrared version. Uh, so again, this is my favorite strobe we're gonna be talking about today. Uh, there are several flash modes. As you can see, there was a strobe mode. This is a flash mode, and this is a always on mode. Now the next strobe that we're gonna be talking about is the another strobe by Firehouse Technology. It is the largest of the strobes, also the heaviest of the strobes we're gonna be talking about today, um, but it is called the Firehouse Technologies Arc XL. Now that makes sense because it is so big. Um, one of the nice things that this one has is it has a built-in land function, they call it. Um, it's basically a uh, audible alarm. When this thing has been sitting in the on position for two or more minutes, a loud beep uh, that will continue to beep like that uh, so you can find your drone. So it, you're, it's assumed that your drone will be stationary after it crashes. Uh, you could go and listen for the sound um, at your last approximate location that you know of of your drone and listen for the loud beep. So the uh, Arc XL, it is again the largest one. It is 30.2 millimeters in this direction, uh, 52 and a half wide and 17.3 millimeters thick. And it comes in at 14.92 grams. Um, so again, large strobe, but there are some good advantages of it. I would say this is the second brightest uh, compared to the previously mentioned Arc 5 strobe. All right, now the third one we're going to talk about, this one many of you probably have already seen. I think this is what the one that made Firehouse Technologies so famous. This is the ARC-2 strobe. Uh, there are four LEDs on it. It is extremely light for what the size it is. Um, the uh, measurements of this are, it is 23.4 millimeters by 29.8 millimeters by 9.1 millimeters thick, and it weighs just 7.4 grams. So very lightweight strobe, easily visible for three statute miles. Uh, we've done other videos on this. So I'll leave uh, links down in the description below that you can see this one. 
So this is probably the third brightest strobe that we're gonna be looking at today. Again, also available in multiple different colors. We do, just like all the other strobes, we do have mounts for these as well for the Mavic 3 and all the other popular drones. Now the last one we are going to talk about from Firehouse Technologies is their dual strobe. Their dual strobe is actually their lightest of all of them and it is still extremely bright. There are two high, out, high output LEDs on this. It has similar flash modes as the others. Uh, you know, turn it on, it'll strobe, touch it again, it'll flash touch it again, the button again, and it will stay, be steady on. So again, another extremely bright one, but very small. I would recommend this, especially on the minis, uh, the Mavic Mini and the Mini 2. Also the Mavic Air 2 and Air 2S. This is also a good one if you're trying to keep weight down. This one comes in at 16 and millimeters by 22.9 millimeters, and it is 8.8 .8 millimeters thick, and it is just 3.35 grams in weight. So as I mentioned before, those Firehouse Technology strobes are very hard to get outside the US and Canada. Um, so I'm going to recommend two other strobes for you that are readily available overseas. Um, the first one is uh, a new one from Flytron. I think Flytron, the strobe on uh, standalone came out first out of all of the strobes that I've ever seen. Uh, then they came out with the Strobon Cree, and now they have this uh, Flytron Strobon uh, C1 strobe. It is uh, very small, uh, it's very lightweight. Uh, it is 15.6 gram, or I'm sorry, 15.6 millimeters by 21 and a half millimeters by 7.9 millimeters, and is about 3.3 grams heavy. Uh, it does have USB-C charging where all the other ones we've previously looked at have micro USB. So that is a plus in my book. Uh, this one is also bright. It only has one LED, but it does get the job done. And the last strobe I'm gonna talk about for all of you that are outside of the US and Canada is a strobe by Vifly. It is the Vifly strobe. Uh, it has actually five LEDs in here. Three of them are white. There's one red and one green. Actually pretty cool cool strobe. It is not quite as bright as the ARC-2 and the ARC-5 that we previously mentioned. It is still visible from three statute miles, so it will cover uh, any of the FAA regulations if you run into that. Um, but uh, it, it is pretty cool because, again, you just hold it down like many of the others to turn it on. You have a flash mode, and then you hit it again. You have a, I'm sorry, the first one's strobe mode. This is the flash mode, and then that's the on mode. And then it cycles between the other colors. There's your red strobe, your red flash, and your red on. And then it goes to green. Now again, these are only single LEDs, so these aren't at quite as bright. Uh, there's your green strobe, there's your green flash, and there's your green on. Now you hit it again and it's going to do all five LEDs strobing. So that is the Vifly strobe. Again, the Vifly is, uh, it's actually pretty light for the size of it. It looks a little big. Battery actually looks pretty big too, but they did manage to keep the weight down to just 5.7 grams. Uh, it's 27 and a half uh, millimeters wide, 15.3 millimeters high and 10 millimeters thick. So that is it for this video. If you found it helpful, click that thumbs up button. Also consider subscribing, it's greatly appreciated. Links for all the strobes and our strobe mounts will be down in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section below. You can also hit us up on our website. We have a Facebook Connect button on there for you to be able to connect with us that way as well. So that's it, fly safe and bye for now.